Hey y'all and welcome back to Brandy Beauty TV. Look, if you are new here and this is your first time watching one of my videos or if you have just been, you know, kind of binge watching lately, I thank you so much for tuning in and checking out my content. I really have just, I really enjoy doing YouTube and I love sharing um, all of my knowledge with you all. So if you want to continue to see, you know, more videos and want to stay updated on new content and things I have going on then click the subscribe button you know it won't hurt you and if you are um, a returning guest and you already a part of the Brandy Beauty family welcome back beautiful and thank you so much for tuning in again um, such a pleasure to be able to grow with you all and I really do appreciate you watching my content you know YouTube is it's definitely a world of its own but I am absolutely enjoying it and I love being able to share, you know, my knowledge with you all. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. So today I am doing my client Gary on, we call her Gary for short, um, doing her hair today and we're going to be doing some wand curls. Now she has a lot of hair, but it's not like a uh, super, super like thick I mean it's thick enough but it's not like so 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 dense so it's easier for me to kind of just play with it a little bit more but um she said she um was gonna let me just blow it out and do some nice textured fun wand curls and this is one of my um favorite hairstyles to do for people who kind of like the natural look but don't really want to wear their natural curls or for those who also like like to flexi rod sets and stuff but don't want to sit up under a dryer well this is that perfect middle for that and so I'm gonna just blow her blow dry her hair really well I've already shampooed it of course and then we're gonna take my really small wand curler and we're just gonna give her a hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of wand curls Now you see that Garyon has some kind of gold copper toned hair. Well, that's because a couple months ago we actually did her first color session with me and she was all virgin. Like all of her hair was just is in this natural um, dark state. And so she let me do some balayage and we also toned it a nice pretty fiery kind of blaze red and it turned out so beautiful. But since her last session it has since then faded so now she has this beautiful copper color and I am feeling it but over the next couple of weeks um, we're going to change Gary on's hair and um, I am going to upload that video uh, soon and you all be able to see how we're going to transform um, her hair what it's like now into to that but um as for today I'm going to just really just trying to touch on red hair color because a lot of people they love red but a lot of people don't know the pros and cons that come with coloring your hair red so I want to just you know touch on that a little bit today now red hair color is beautiful and not only is it beautiful but within the color red there are so many shades of red so you have your cool reds which are like your red violets your more blue base reds you know your really deep crimsons and your burgundies those are your more cooler reds and then your warm reds are going to be more kind of have like an orange hue those are going to be like your auburns your um you can kind of throw copper in there because sometimes coppers can come off a little red um and then you're just you know regular traditional red and you know whichever shade you can throw in between that so you have your cool reds and you have your um, more warm reds and all of them are high maintenance <laughs> and when I say all of them are high maintenance literally all of them and the reason being is because the molecules on your hair shaft are much smaller compared to the molecules in red hair dye red hair dye has really large molecules and so when you're coloring your hair red it's easier for those molecules to escape because they're literally just resting on the surface of the hair and it's really hard for them to penetrate the smaller molecules it's kind of like trying to you know it's kind of like trying to put your fist into a hole that just won't fit if you can imagine what that looks like that's the exact picture of what red hair dye is trying to do 
when you color your hair so even if you say you lift your hair to like a um a blonde and then go over it and deposit a red on top of it it's still going to be hard for it to take um because of the molecules being so large so what that also means is that it's going to fade a lot quicker so what I essentially tell my clients, you know, when they come in and go, I think I want to go red. I'm like, okay, well, you know, let's have a seat, get you some tea and let's have a chat because I need you to understand how often you're going to be in the salon if you want to keep your red. Now, if you don't mind it fading and it, like Gary on's, as you see, it faded to a beautiful copper color, then hey, that's fine. Because when it does fade, most of the time, if it's a warm red, that is, it will fade into a copper if it's like a cool red, like I mentioned before, it's going to turn pink or like a sherbet or something like that. And not everybody wants that, okay? So that's something to keep in mind when you're doing a redhead consultation. So to keep your red looking fresh a lot longer, on average you're gonna have to get it recolored probably every three shampoos because that's just how quick red hair color fades and there's nothing you can pretty much do about that but there are things you can do to keep it looking fresher longer um, I always tell my clients who have red hair color that hot water and warm water on red hair it's just gonna cause it to fade uh, even quicker than what it already does it's just not your friend so I always tell them uh, when you're shampooing your hair at home cold or cool water that is what you should shampoo your hair with because that's going to keep it um, locked in and keep those molecules from escaping like hot water would cause it to do also I highly recommend shampoos that are geared towards keeping your hair color vibrant the matrix line is one of my favorites and it's also available for purchase by the public um, they have a whole uh, shampoo line just dedicated towards hair color. Blondes, reds, um, I mean, repair shampoos, hydration, I mean, you name it. For hair, um, shampoos for keeping your hair color vibrant, Matrix, they got it. They got it all. So if you have red hair now and you're watching this video, check out the Matrix line and their shampoo called the Keep Me Vivid. It is one of a kind, and I have seen it um, uh, do wonders for my clients who have those high maintenance hair colors, the fashion colors, and the redheads. That's a great shampoo and conditioner for that. So keep that in mind when you're deciding to go red that you're going to have to change your entire regimen. And being a redhead, much like a blonde, it's a lifestyle, and it's a lifestyle you're going to have to commit to if you want to keep it looking nice. Now, another thing that people do not think about when they color their hair red is matching their wardrobe and their makeup. Because sometimes, depending on the red that you wear, uh, you can easily look like a clown. And <laughs> don't nobody want to be a uh, clown redhead, you know. <laughs> you want to look nice. So, that's something to consider. Well, especially those who wear like the really bright reds, you know. 
minimal makeup is sometimes the best way to go because it's already red i mean it's going to draw attention anyway so you know i mean essentially do what you want to do i mean we all grown around here so ain't nobody telling nobody what to do i'm just saying that that's something to consider because you know red doesn't easily match with everything you know like you know blondes or browns or you know just natural colors you know it's it's an artificial color so um yeah that's something to consider for sure now some of my uh clients that wear red hair they keep I, i've noticed that they keep their clothing and their color schemes they keep their color palettes really really soft and neutral they don't they typically don't do and wear uh too many vibrant colors often you know one of my clients said oh no it's just too much like my hair just does the talking i just try to keep everything else to a minimum you know that's just a general rule of thumb you know it's, it's all fun and dandy you know it's just hair it's it's fun it's fashion so do what you want to do but you know for people walking around here in the general public like myself that's something to think about i just get so tickled thinking about that so yeah i just want to you know share that with y'all Okay, y'all, so we are wrapping up Gary On's hair. Um, it really didn't, honestly, it didn't take that long um, to do this since I didn't have to like press it out or anything like that. We just went from straight to blow dry to wand curling. So um, I didn't have a, I didn't have to really work on her hair for too long. It was a very, you know, quick, simple procedure, but it came out so pretty and her hair should honestly last her. She should get about a good week out of it. You know, with wand curls, it's one of those things that it can kind of just fall on its own. It's nothing you really have to commit to because it really falls really pretty over time. And the longer you wear it, the it starts to swell and it really starts to look even more natural. So I am in love, in love, in love, in love with the turnout. And yeah, she'll be able to, you know, rock this for a little while. Now, if she wants to, she can decide to put it in a pineapple at night. You know, that's just doing the bare minimum. She can take like a really, um, one of those hair bowls like, that kind of looks like a cord. I like those over like the elastics because they don't leave dents in the hair. So she could take her hair all at the top and put it in a pineapple and go to sleep like that. Or she can take it and toss it in a bonnet. Now out of the two, my favorite will be the pineapple just because you won't necessarily like sleep on it and it won't get smushed and once your curls get smushed especially when they well if they're if you, even if you do a wash and go and you lay on your curls they'll get smushed too so yeah the pineapple is the best way you know i feel and she will probably wind up doing it like that and that'll keep it you know maintain it just a little while longer but let me let y'all hear how much gary on she was talking all this junk i just love this girl i had to unmute her so you can Hear how much she just loved her hair. <laughs> Do y'all see my girl? Like her hair turned out beautiful. I am in love and make sure y'all tune in over the next couple of weeks we're gonna be taking Gary Ann's hair color up a notch and I cannot wait so until then thank y'all for hanging out with me today and I will see y'all in my my next video so oh and like comment subscribe bye y'all <laughs>